Okay, part two of doing the Immerse to Learn uh, hand G code project. I finished up with the face mill. Oh, I should save this because if I lose this data, I'll have to do this all over again. Oh, here's my other program. I'm going to call this, and actually, the Haas will read a text file. We used to have to convert these to a .nc file, which stands for numerical code. And if you're on any of the other machines like a Mazak, it's .eia or. Every machine sometimes, like a fryer, might have a different number, but I'm going to name it exactly the same as the number. I could write in exactly what it is, but I'm pretty sure I know what this is. So I'm going to call it letter O and 5, 6, 7, 8. Hit save. Okay. All right. Face milk. Kind of easy. Now what are we going to do? We're going to cut this, uh, well, it's technically a rectangle, it's not a square. And I'm gonna, I like to start in the upper left-hand corner up here. And I'm going to use cut a compensation to my advantage. So I'm going to start in my the old X minus 1, Y positive 1, which is like up here somewhere. I'm going to feed to Y0 and then turn the compensation on while I am doing that. And I'm going to do climb milling, which is this direction tool spin like this and I'm going to go to x 3.0 and then I'm going to go to y negative 2.875 I'm going to go to x 0 and then cross the finish line okay all right I just need to kind of repeat what I've got up top there t2 m6 and I'm going to do m3 which is uh, clockwise and I'm going to run um, it's going to be in the TM1 which can run 6,000 rpm and I calculated I can go about eight nine thousand rpm but I can't get that high so I'm going to go 6,000 and then I'm going to rapidly absolutely go to the first work coordinate but where am I always oh, I already decided X minus 1.0 and Y 1.0. Alright, gonna bring it down. G43, H2, Z, 1. Point, oops, that's an A. <laughs> 1.0. Cool it on, cool it on. Now what? This is 750 thick. I'm gonna go to 760 thick to go a little bit beyond the bottom. Okay, G01. Z minus 0.76. I'll use the old F50 because I'm not going to hit anything. And I'm going to go around the block. So now I'm going to go, I'll just put in the G01 anyway, not really necessary. But this is cut a comp left. I'm going to use D2, that's offset, diameter offset 2. And I'm going to Y0, and I figured I can do this at 20 inches a minute. As I did my feed and speed calculations earlier. Okay, now I'm going to go G1, so I don't need to say it again. I just need positions now. X3, Y minus 2.875, and X0, and then I'm going to go all the way up to 0 and up to 1. So Y1.0. All right, I've made my squarey rectangle, so I'm going to shut the compensation off, which would be G40. But you really should do a move with it. So I'm going to move to X minus 1.0, where I started. Uh, I can say I'm done at that point, but you know what? It's the same tool. It's a good starting spot. I just need to go to a new position. Technically... A lot of people will go to a clear spot above the part, like Z.100. I think I'll do that. So I'm above the part, and then you can say if I needed to go somewhere else, I should be able to get there rapidly without hitting anything. All right. So I, I made the rectangle. I'm up to Z.1. I'm going, where am I going next? Same place. I'm just going to go to the same place. But, um... Well, actually, yeah, let's make it slightly different. X.9 and, uh, no, I'm going to go X 
No, I'm gonna, I gotta go x negative, negative 1.50 and y 1.0. Okay. Continuing on, I'm gonna feed down to the 300 depth right there, 300. Z minus 0.300 at f50 again. Oh, I, that would be rapid. Even though I got f50, it's still in g00 mode. I need g01. Okay, I almost messed up there. Okay, and where am I going to go now? I'm going to turn the compensation back on. You, you can't just leave it on the whole time. You, you can only do it for each contour. It's not a good habit to leave it on all the time. Okay, I'm going to use, uh, let's see, where am I going? I'm going to this Y negative 0.375 right up here. Y negative 0.375. I'm going to use the same 20 inches a minute. I don't need to say D2 again, but I can. But that's the active code for diameter. All right. So I'm, I'm up here. I'm on this line, and i got to go around the block here. So i got to stop here, go around the corner. So it would be line, arc, line, 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 reverse arc, line, arc, and line. Okay. I'm going to go G01, X, and that would be 2.75 minus the radius, which would make it 2.5. 2.50. Then i got to go clockwise arc, which is G02, and I need to go to this intersection right here, which I know is X 2.75, according to print, and the Y would be Y negative 375 plus the 250 calculated time 0.375 plus 0.50 is 0.625 and we'll use the easier radius or our method 0.250 okay going back to lines g01 we're going to go down to this corner right here. 2.5 right here. Oops, I'm losing my notepad. Minus the 250, so that makes it uh, y negative 225. 225. Okay, then we got to go to this intersection, so that'd be x 2.75. Oh, it says right there 2.5. 2.50. Y negative 2.50. All right, next, let me do a file save so I don't lose anything. I got to go to this intersection. That would be X 1.875. Then I got to go other way arc, G03. And I have to go to this point right there. Uh, X. 1.125 y minus 2.50 and it's a radius of 0.375 got it back to linear a line and I'm going to go to the 0 0.750 Oop, x got the x 0 0.750 I'm going to do a clockwise arc, which is G2. That'll also work. And that would be right here. The X, this is 250 right to here. X.250. And Y negative something. Oh, this is a big radius. 0.5. So, oh, that'd be 2. That's easy. And R of 0.5. Five, zero. Okay. Now I'm going to go straight north. Um, I'm going to go off the part. I'll go to that Y1.0 again. Y1.0. You don't want to shut off compensation as you're traveling there. It'll actually cut an angled line. It'll slowly remove it and cut it angle. So you don't want to say G40 on this line. 
I'm clear of the part, and I need you to make one more move to shut off the conversation. So just don't type G40, move somewhere. And I'm going to go back to where I started, which is up here. X, negative 1.50. I am done with that tool. So I'm going to get out of town, which is just like right up here. I can literally copy this. Copy and paste. And I'm going to hit File Save. File Save. And what am I at? The 10 minute mark? Okay. And then I'll, I'll wrap it. No, i got to get two more of these, I think. We'll do slot and hold, really. So I'll just get kind of set up for the slot. T3 M6 M3. And this is a small tool. So it can go easily as fast as the bigger tool. Big tires and small tires, you know. Alright, so I'm going to stop there and pick it up on part three.